Well, no, I'm not done getting loot here. What are you doing? Oh, God. Your arrogance will be your downfall. I will take you down. Bro! What? You dick! Temporary setback. I am actually angry. Who, if not me? I'll make it happen. I have read tomes of military tactics. If I may. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Isn't this a job for serfs? Yeah, you walk your ass into there and you like it. Uh... Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I really hope they eventually patch in the may. ability to rotate these things. Dang, dude, their whole team is going before I am. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Yeah, you will. I take so much damage on her all of a sudden. Volatile Servitor dies. Feels 20. The thing exploded and then. God, what's the range on that? She's dead? Heinrichs is dead? Dude, he died, like, here. Oh, my God, man. Uh... Faith without deeds is worthless. Good God. What a garbage way to start. Indeed. Resist the dust! Oh, and there's another one. Four cell radius. Jeez. Victory is imminent. Export is no one route forward. Running by Eric Override. My vow. I'm trying to think if there's somebody I can plant them in place, but I don't think there is. I'll see to it personally. A 
It's as good as done. As the Emperor commands, this branch is a prayer. Okay. Dude, Heinrich has three freaking three traumas. He didn't even get a turn before he got three traumas. Can we can we go back to the ship? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna see if I can go back to the ship before we do anything. Is there money to be made? Let us see what I found. That's crazy, dude. The emperor favors me today. Ah! Oh my god, we might actually get a plasma weapon here. That'd be amazing. Let us not dawdle. How do you get three traumas? I always have a backup plan. Oh. Your wits about you. Blood mixed with machine oil is very barely visible on the, the floor. I'm still new to the My art ears of exploring. I better myself Rise through to the my top, service. or get left in the dust. Lore warp 70. Talk somewhere else. I always keep my options open. Small, heavily augmented man in filthy tattered in a filthy tattered robe stands before you. As you approach, he hesitantly looks up at you. His eyes fill with horror. The portable inscriber with a keyboard hang from a strap at his front, and you can see his detached cerebral cogitator peeking out from under his hood. You have nothing to fear from us. Deus Mechanicus. The tech priest decides to take a better look at you. After which, he lets out a ragged breath and manages to subdue his shaking. He heard my prayers. I thought I was alone in a kingdom of madness and depravity. Please save me. Tell us who you are and what happened to you. I am Manufactor, Ma Manufactorum Lex Mechanic, Zeta 86. I performed the rituals for the machine spirit of Foundry 95 up until we started going mad. Priests devoted to the Omnissiah suddenly started praising the dawn of something or other. They stopped the belts and then they desecrated the visages of the sacred machines with unholy symbols. Some of them resisted, the others grabbed them, tied them up, and then, and then they turned their implants to heresy. I saw the madmen, my former tech comrades, deliberately connect those poor souls to corrupted cogitators. I watched as they were infected with strap code and did nothing to stop them. I'm recording a violation of the commandment of thine own forge be a true sentinel. Apostate Zeta 86, your accesses are hereby revoked. Proceed with your report. How do you manage to avoid the same fate? I didn't avoid it. They performed the same procedure on me. I felt the touch of unholy code. I allowed it to control me. I abandoned my sacred post and followed one of the traitors, serving his will and gathering all the data for his blasphemous experiments. I was driven by an unholy impulse coming from the depths of my auxiliary cogitator where the code has lodged itself. Before I found a way to throw off the compulsion, I witnessed horrifying heresy, the extraction of true flesh and its decomposition on altars, perverse procedure, procedures that resulted in paratechnical abominations. I even accompanied a fallen Magos to the Fabricator Sensor himself and attended the unholy mass he led personally. It was a wicked, wicked ritual full of willful deviations and blatant inaccuracies. All to create an ungodly monster in the name of the Final Dawn. 
You don't act like the other priests that were infected. Praise the gifts of the Omnissiah. I managed to disconnect my external cogitator, which I use for primary data processing. The machine is corrupted. The scrap code is locked inside it like a beast in a cage, but anyone who tries to look inside will fall victim to the heretical program. My primitive brain has been marked by corruption. I still see their silhouettes, hear their in interference. I sense the malfunctions in my augmentics. But I will still... But I was still saved from the great sacrifice. Oh, blessed are the workings of the Omnissiah and his benediction that shelters the weak from evil. You mentioned a monster? Some kind of weapon? No, no, not those constructs that are melted down in the furnaces and sent to the depths of the Manufactorum. It's some kind of semblance of a cogitator, a nightmarish parody of a sacred machine. Powered not by the Omnissiah's grace, but by the unholy spirit and life force, the unfortunates imprisoned on the lower levels. <clears throat> I don't know much except for the fabricator sensor saw the machine as special. It was special to him and to the crazies who defiled the Omnicize abode with their obscene blasphemy. In the final ritual he even called upon one of the Astartes heretics who arrived at the Manufactorum and after the start of the uprisings he did something. Something terrible and only after that were they able to switch the machine on. It's a true abomination. Even standing near it's unbearable. I believe that even those who have the deprived of the Omnissiah's grace still feel the in its influence on them. It's monstrous power you utilize for unholy computations and chaotic calculations. Wow. How did your crazed comrades behave? If the grace of the Omnissiah had left them entirely. You mentioned someone imprisoned on the lower levels? The lay servants of the main units. They live in isolated segments under the sacred machine halls. I heard they were locked in there after the takeover. Then my crazed brethren changed the system for disposing of slag waste and covered the machines in cursed symbols. After they started the cogitator, they dragged the survivors out of the segments under the machine halls. What the survivors had turned into. They used me against my will. The scrap code turns everyone into their slaves. Before I rid myself of the cogitator, I was forced to serve alongside those who perpetrated these atrocities and witness their obscenities. Turn to Hendricks. What do you make of it? Servant of the Omnissiah, I must know more. About the Final Dawn, the Fabricator Sensor, his mass, and about this machine as well. I could give you the coordinates, but even though I was present for many blasphemies committed by those heretics, all the details that were captured and processed by my true flesh are in the augmentic that was corrupted by the scrap code. I'm convinced that if I hadn't fought off the foreign compulsion in time, I would have been doomed. The corruption would have spread to my biological cogitator as well. I swear that no devout tech priest should come into contact with what's hidden in that one sacred device. Heinrich's expression shifts as he stares intently at the disconnected implant and the still intact connectors protruding from under the Lex Mechanic collar. The corner of his mouth twitches involuntarily. Abelard notices a look on Heinrich's face, and once he does, he sighs heavily and looks away. Heinrich, what are you thinking? Heinrich does not speak for several seconds, gritting his teeth. Then, in a meditative tone, as though he's musing aloud, he addresses the Lex Mechanic. There may be a way to retrieve the cogitator's contents via another device. Even if the very idea of exposing a holy machine to the scrap code wasn't profane in itself, my augmentics are not universally compatible. They cannot be connected to another machine spirit. They were created to interact with the system of my true flesh, to innervate my compulsor unit and output data via the inscriber. Once I am safe, I swear that I will immediately perform a cleansing rite and destroy... In other words, there's only one way to extract the data stored in the cogitator. Heinrichs, no, don't do it. His voice turns dry. The Lex Mechanic could have been privy to the conversations that are vital to investigating the cult. We need the contents of that cogitator. The Lex Mechanic, who's been listening to your discussion and puzzlement, finally understands what's going to happen to him, and he begins to back away in fear. No, anything but that. I'll die. No, it'll be worse than that. I'll succumb to the corruption. I'm begging you, please. I'd rather be burned as a heretic than have the scrap code of my biological cogitator. At these words, Heinrichs pauses for a fraction of a second, almost as if he is reconsidering. In failing to offer any assistance against the enemies of the Omnissiah, Unit Zeta-86 lost the grace of his machine rank and was recategorized as a resource of the Manufactorum. The defilement and torment of said resource, if committed to advance in the struggle against heresy, will not be deemed an apostasy or malfaction against a living soul. Upon expiry, expiry of the unit's utility, disposal is recommended. Heinrich stopped. The leaders of the cult would never discuss anything of importance in front of witnesses. Leave the poor man alone. We need to know where the cogitator is. Even if the heretic's conversations are unimportant, I must know why the machine was so valuable to them. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. A different augmentic is responsible for my muscle memory. It has data storage, too. I remember where I walked and what I pressed with my fingers. Here, here are the coordinates and the code. It's probably the code to the bay.
He'll be taken to my ship after the cleansing rites. A place will be found for him there. Yep. Cool. Uh, Co, as somebody on a TV with 5.1 surround, I can't even hear you. Wait, seriously? You say this now after I've been reading for like 20 minutes? <laughs> Damn it! What was the point of all that? All right, um, here we go. I think it's that steam, right? Excessive kindness, Co, gets good people into trouble. Let's hope the corruption only affected the disconnected on medic and not his soul. I mean, not wrong. Let us not dawdle. Whoa! Um. Put that on. Probably put that on early yet later. Always keep your eye on the price. Who thought that was a good idea? I won't go down easy. This place is I awesome. always have a backup plan. Okay. Mm-hmm. to the top or get I... left in the dust the servitors before he appears that they're performing some elaborate and confusing dance striking strange poses they rock back and forth with their arms bent at peculiar angles upon your approach one of the servitors jerks and turn and tries to turn in your direction the rest immediately repeat the motion the strange scene is complemented by a grating sound dull clicks just at the edge of your hearing coming from an unknown source observe the servitor closest to you Based on a cursory inspection, you conclude the servitors were designed for precision work on an assembly line, possibly circuit production. The number of high-quality expensive augments in their body greatly exceeds basic standards. Avoid its touch. Gently and swiftly you walk, you step away from the servitor. It stretches out its hand as if trying to blindly touch you in the space you'd already left, and still wants more. It seems its brain is incapable of quickly processing change in its surroundings. Find the source of the repeating clicks. You locate the source of the clicking. On the back of one of the servitors, a tumor oozing with murky ichor is going, going straight through the augments. The relays coated in inflamed tissue are blocked, hence the reason for the persistent clicking. Cut away the tumor forming the spinal on the spinal cogitator. With that much difficulty, you cut the excess flesh from the mechanisms. The liberated relay lets out a rapid burst of clicks and a spark flashes before your eyes and something begins to hum deep in the servitor's flesh. <clears throat> the servitor stops moving, lowers their arms, and turns toward you. Crew, crew 24, second lane of the manufacturing, commencing work, state your request. Follow your default programming. Keep your wits about you. Wait, are they following me? Uh, Nani. Uh, view the log on the computer. Local data crew with its contents collected by the previous operators of the machine spirit itself. Raw the, um, the vast data repositories contain millions of strings related to retrieving, receiving raw materials for processing. Hmm. The last record is from two months ago. Okay. Nothing really there. Oh, we leveled. You discover the local data crit with contents collected by the previous operators of the machine spirit. View the third log, which is hidden by the protection of the machine spirit. Your knowledge of machine spirits is sufficient to trick the system and subdue it to your will. A false query, a crafty manipulation of the controls, and you get what you want. The instrumental terminals have already been replaced. 
Material delivery systems are being prepared for divine transformation. The execution of the new procedure has been delayed, and there are some in our ranks who doubt the words of the fabricator sensor and his votaries. And there are some who are not susceptible to the enhancement protocol that carries our tech comrades to enlightenment. May the deliverers be fate of fate be merciful to them. In action is death, and I must be returning to our great work. Praise be to the truth that will reveal the path to the knowledge shrouded in darkness. Today, dozens of standard procedures were lost to be replaced by new ones, which a fabricator sensor will deliver to those who demonstrate the greatest devotion to serving the truth. Okay. Fun. Also fun! I always keep my options open. Alright. You got some loot down here on the left. Goods. Oh, let's go ahead and pop our level on before we get into combat. Oh, this is level 28. Mm -mm. Uh, for 28, we're getting, let's see. You can get undisputed advantage or against all odds. Against all odds is the master technician begins combat with additional stacks of tactical advantage. That's good. Um, and then undisputed advantage. Did I already get that one? Undisputed advantage. Press the advantage ignores cover and dodge. Oh, that's awesome. Let's get that one. Yeah. Okay. I like it. A boy Heinrichs. We're looking at combat master and professional acumen. Every turn, the first use of an assassin ability costs zero AP. That ass. My girl Cassia. Reds and Fault. Whenever an enemy fails resistance test against the navigator's power, attacks against them gain more critical hit chance. Uh, let's get more perception. Great. Oh. All right, now we have um, Abelard. Oh. Renitent Beacon? Yeah, here we go. Each stack of unyielding beacon additionally increases armor by one armor and parry by one percent. Cool. So as he gets hits, he, as he gets hit, he just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Oh, we can't get demolition, so we'll get athletics. Actually, maybe awareness. Um, hmm. Chris K, not wrong, not wrong. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, looks like it's time for a drink. Oh, we get another drink real quick. That's it. Get awareness. And then here we're looking at distract any of the arch militants burst attacks of, and melee area attacks reduce dodge of all the enemies hit and does, does not stack that's still awesome 
And then Mr. Pascale. Look at aiming protocols. Pascal gains plus 3x int bonus to ballistic skill and plus 2x int bonus to dodge reduction with plasma and melt. Oh my god, dude. We gotta get this man a plasma weapon. Oh. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get this because I'm I'm preparing for the plasma weapon. The other thing we could get is uh hunting surge. Whenever an enemy is killed by a critical hit score by the bounty hunter or their ally, the bounty hunter gains. I mean that's good, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this other one, man. I'm gonna find him a damn plasma weapon. And when we do, it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully we'll find one here. Didn't I have one here? The only plasma weapon I've found for him so far. I, I can give him a plasma gun, but the problem is is it's Horrible compared to his current weapon. It's just not good compared to his current weapon. So. Yeah. Yeah. I There's there's like a, uh, there's like a sniper plasma thing. That's what I need to get. Look at filtering protocols on Pascal. Oh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Hmm. Although I will say, I never really like... Yeah. I never I never really have any AP issues with him, but it's still kind of cool. 